You don't train to burn fat. It, it will be depressing. When I do the numbers, it will be depressing. 300 calories, 150 calories of fat, divide that into 9,000, you haven't burnt much fat at all. But what you do do is exercise as a stimulus to change your body's physiology. So when I do strength training, I build muscle and maintain muscle. That changes my metabolism, that changes my physiology. When I do exercise, I want to exercise an intensity that will create a change in my physiology. It will take my body from a V8 back up to a jet engine or from a six cylinder back up to a V8. I don't just drive the car as it is, I drive it as I want it to be. You don't train to burn energy, you train to make change. And the only way to make change is to take your intensity up. So when you do cardiovascular exercise, if you go walking, for example, you're using what you've got. Because the intensity is so low, it's not stress strenuous, it's just a walk. The body's not going, oh my gosh, I have to change. This is so stressful. It would just stay the same. Yes, you burn energy in an insignificant amount, then you probably go and have a big breakfast and counteract that anyway, get fatter. That's why a lot of people when they start exercise programs actually put on weight. You know, they, you know, they, go, for, they go for a, 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 an hour walk, they burn off 300 calories and go and eat 600. Because the 600, yeah, I've the exercise, now I can go and eat some. Yeah, so they just get more out of the way. So don't train when you go walking, you're using what you've got. Rather than burning what you want. Yeah, that's right. 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 So building what you want is your overload. From a cardiovascular exercise point of view, work as hard as you can in the time frame that you've got. 